We will calculate the motion of electrons in a bending trap, like the one shown in this small sketch. For the moment we will neglect the influence of the slight inhomogeneity of the magnetic field caused by the nickel ring and the electric field of the cap electrodes. If B points in the Z direction, it follows from a vector potential equal to minus BY00. So the Hamiltonian of such a system, using minimal substitution, is 1 over 2m times p minus ea squared. So with a bit of trivial mathematics, we find 1 over 2m times p plus 2m omega y px plus m squared omega squared y squared. If we write this in terms of Cartesian components of the momentum, we find that all the terms proportional to px can be joined together and the remaining term is pz squared over 2m, which corresponds to a uniform motion in the z direction, which in reality will be limited by the cap electrodes. The other two terms correspond to harmonic oscillation in the xy plane. The energy L levels for this oscillation are equal to omega times n plus one half, with n a whole number 0, 1, 2, and so on. If we now take into account the spin of the electron, the Hamiltonian acquires a term mu s times b, where mu s is the magnetic moment of the electron and b is the magnetic field vector. So this gives an additional splitting by plus or minus g e times e b over 4 m. This last time is g over 4 times the same cyclotron frequency which we had found earlier. The energies corresponding to the two spin directions differ from En by plus or minus g e over 4 times omega. This results in a level spacing due to spin of g e over 2 times omega compared to one level spacing by the cyclotron motion, which is delta e n equal omega. The difference between these two level spacings uh, directly measures g e minus 2 divided by 2. 